Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the finish line. The light at the end of the tunnel approaches with haste, and all we can hope is that the light is not blinding enough. When we leave this building, we will be free-willed adults, able to pave our career path wherever we please, make whatever choices we want, garner life experience, and vote for those who represent our beliefs, if we so desire. All I ask is that before this monumental change takes place, we take a moment and observe a truly life-changing realization I had before I got to where I am today. There is an ancient proverb that states, the same boiling water that softens the potato hardens the egg. Furthermore, it was the old guru Ramana Maharshi who said, your own self-realization is the greatest service you could render to the world. Hayes, class of 2024, I believe that the two most important things for success are immersing yourself in the best environment possible for your goals, as well as achieving self-realization that empowers your analysis of the world around you. Before I joined the school district, I attended a rough middle school, to say the least. There were more fights breaking out, gang affiliation, and drugs being distributed than I realized at the time, as I was focusing on defending myself from the bullies who taunted me for my differences. I was failing tests in most of my on-level classes, and I had to take multiple reading classes at once to catch up with my peers. As a result, I was in an environment where I was essentially being set up for failure, and I had no reason or motivation to redirect from the path I was going down. I'd love to give a huge thank you to my mom, my dad, John, and Erica, for it was you who saw my struggles and transferred me to Barton Middle School. In this new social landscape, my peers, you all were so welcoming, kind, and supportive towards a newer, quieter student joining the school district. Because of you, I felt I could eventually spread my wings and thrive. Huge shout out to my friend Josh Welvert. You were there since day one, and it was you who became my first friend at Barton through band. I love you, bro, and I will never forget the memories we made and the laughs we've shared. My middle school teachers, shout out to Mr. Taylor and Mr. Glynn. You guys saw something in me and worked with me so I could be ahead of the same curb I've grown accustomed to watching from behind. I was the same person I was before, but in a different atmosphere filled with so many bright faces, my grades and happiness grew to where I am today, standing in front of you as the class of 2024 salutatorian. Never ever let a toxic environment wrap its corrupt tendrils around you, for it will only hold you back from the fruits of your labor that rest right at your fingertips. Break free from those chains and take what's rightfully yours. You'd be surprised by what even the smallest change in atmosphere could do for your energy and ambitions. I know I was, and I would love for you guys to experience the shift as well. As I became more comfortable and secure within my new school environment, I began to focus inward, reflecting on my differences from my peers. This introspection is crucial for self-realization, where individuals gain a deeper understanding of their strengths, weaknesses, and passions. In the midst of my period of struggle, I was taken to a psychologist, where my family and I discovered that I was on the spectrum. I had spent up in town thinking that I was just a socially awkward kid, when in reality, I was diagnosed with high-functioning autism, making me neurodivergent. Social cues are like a toolbox that most people are born with and know how to use. However, having autism, I had to learn what each of these tools were, like eye contact, body language, and sarcasm, as well as learning how to use them through many awkward moments. However, as with anything, practice makes perfect, and I was able to get to where I am today, meeting so many lovely people, cracking jokes in class, and socializing to levels I would have never fathomed. Before you try to know others, I encourage you to try to get to know yourself. Learn your quirks and embrace them. Forget about what strangers judging you for being who you are, because at the end of the day, they probably don't know who they are either. Don't be embarrassed about what others might think of you because, I'll be honest, even I think my hobby of throat singing is an unusual hobby. <clears> throat> 
But that didn't stop me from doing it on the mic when I won Prom King. Like Yin and Yang, your haters may be louder than your supporters, but those haters are outnumbered. Master the art of self-realization, and those skills will be reflected in all other relationships of your life. You'll be able to have stronger relationships with friends, families, and coworkers once you have mastered the art of knowing yourself. Class of 2024, as we march forward to our higher education, our jobs, or exploration of the world around us through travel, I encourage you to find the best environment for your success and get to know yourself better through self-realization, where we will help strengthen your other relationships as well. I love you guys. Thank you for the many wonderful memories these past six years, and please stay in touch. Whatever challenges lie ahead, just know that I believe in you. Whatever it takes, you got this. It is now my pleasure to present to you the valedictorian of the Hayes High School Class of 2024, Abigail Lindemann.